Hello everyone. So in part 4 we have seen hydration reaction that is addition of water to carbonyl compounds. Now addition of alcohol that will also follow the similar type of pattern that we have seen in case of hydration that is water addition to carbonyl compounds. So here we have general structure for aldehyde or ketone. So one of the R group, R prime or R double prime, if it is hydrogen, then it will be aldehyde. So we have taken one molecule of the carbonyl compound and two molecules of alcohol. Now in presence of acid, acyl, it may be any other acid also, there is formation of this acetal. So this type of compound where two OR groups which are coming from the alcohol which is clear from the color okay so this type of product that we are getting here this is known as acetal and here one water molecule will be removed so two hydrogen from alcohol and this oxygen from the carbonyl compound that will be removed as water now sometimes in some books you can find that the compound that is this addition compound that we are getting when we are getting it from aldehyde it is called acetal when we are getting from ketone it is called ketal but nowadays that is the in modern method both are used by the single term which is acetal so here we in the whole slide in the whole video we will use the only term which is acetal ketal term that will not be used okay and this reaction is reversible and position of equilibrium that we can control how by relative amount of the alcohol or the water. So according to Lee Chatelier principle, when the amount of alcohol is high, then obviously the reaction will be favorable towards the forward direction. And if the amount of water is high, then the equilibrium will be shifted towards the backward direction. Okay, so we can control it. So if we want to get acetal as our product, so we have to remove the byproduct water and it is normally done by azeotropic distillation and if uh, and also we have to use the acid catalyst this is must and if we want to get the aldehyde or ketone starting from the addition product that is acetal then we have to use h2o and also h plus that means we have to use aqueous acid so depending on our requirement we have to adjust the reaction condition so that we can get acetal as product or the aldehyde ketone and alcohol as the product fine next we will see the mechanism so this mechanism it is applicable for both acetal formation that is the forward reaction and the backward reaction is acetal hydrolysis so the same mechanism we can also apply for the this backward reaction that is acetal hydrolysis so first of all this is the general structure of aldehyde or ketone in presence of H plus there will be protonation of the oxygen. Now two types of resonance structures we get suppose this is one this is two. So here positive charge on oxygen because there is double bond between carbon and oxygen and here we have carbocation. Now in presence of alcohol here this lone pair of oxygen it can attack the carbon. You can also do the attack at here in this structure, in this resonance structure. In that case, now oxygen will be neutral and we are getting this structure. Now there will be this extra proton. If it is removed, now oxygen will be neutral again. Now this structure is known as hemiacetal. So you can consider it as intermediate uh, when we are making acetal so first this will be produced sometimes hemiacetal can be isolated sometimes it cannot be isolated it depends on the uh, structure of the compound so normally when there is electron withdrawing group we can isolate this hemiacetal otherwise not okay so next there will be further protonation on this OH so that it can be converted to good living group which is water So we are adding water and in each step just follow the backward reaction. When it is plus H plus obviously the backward reaction it will be minus H plus. So now the OH2 it is uh, oxygen is positively charged. 
water will be removed and if it, it is the backward reaction then water should be added plus H2. Here also we are getting two resonance structure. In one there is positive charge on oxygen, in two there is positive charge on carbon. So this is carbocation. Now the second alcohol molecule is added. Basically one aldehyde or ketone molecule add two molecules of alcohol. So this is number one and this is number two. So same mechanism. ROH oxygen is protonated that is why it is positively charged and one of these sorry not one of this this H will be removed as H plus as a result finally we are getting acetal okay two R group that are coming from alcohol and this part is coming from the carbonyl compound it may be aldehyde or it may be uh, ketone. Hemiacetal formation, it can also be catalyzed by base, but acetal we cannot make by basic base catalysis. So suppose here our starting compound is aldehyde, which is uh, acetaldehyde. In presence of base, there will be formation of MeO from methanol, okay, by removal of proton. So this OME, it will attack the carbonyl carbon and there will be negative charge over oxygen. Now the second step is this O minus will be, uh, it will take proton from methanol and it will be converted to OH. Now this is our hemiacetal where we have one OME attached to this carbon, carbonyl carbon and another group is OH. So this is hemiacetal. So the up to this point, this reaction is possible. But next, if we want to get acetal, then further attack of MeO minus to carbonyl it should it should take place but here if it attacks then OH will be removed right so HO minus it is a very bad living group okay it is bad living group as a result this reaction it is not possible now how to know that HO minus is bad living group just consider the corresponding conjugate acid the corresponding conjugate acid is H2O so H2O, it is not very uh, strong acid, okay. So we cannot say that it is a very strong acid. So that is the reason, the corresponding. Now if you consider this as a acid, HO minus that will be the conjugate base. So if H2O is not very good acid, obviously HO minus, its stability, it will not be very high. It will be very reactive uh, species. Bad living group means it is, it will be attacking some other uh, nucleus that is electron deficient site. Okay, so bad living group means it is very reactive species. Okay, so that is the reason that this reaction is not possible. So up to hemiacetal we can make but we cannot make acetal. So that is the reason that uh, we do this reaction under acid catalysis, not base catalysis, fine. Here we will discuss some important facts regarding this reaction. So acetals are quite stable to hydrolysis by base because again see this is our acetal, right? Now we have already seen that the backward reaction by using aqueous acid that is water plus acid we can get back the original starting material, starting carbonyl compound and alcohol. But is the hydrolysis, is it possible in presence of base? So in presence of base, suppose we are using HO minus, HO minus it will attack carbon and there will be removal of RO minus. But again RO minus it is a bad living group. Again, you can consider the corresponding acid which is ROH. ROH is not a very good acid. Okay, that means its conjugate base which is RO minus, it will be highly reactive species. Same logic as we have used in the previous slide. Okay, so it will be highly reactive and it will not remain in free condition. To, if we say some species as good living group, it must have some stability. But as it is very reactive, it is it will... Sorry, it will not be very good living group. It will be bad living group. Fine. 
So that is the reason acetals are stable to hydrolysis by base. Formation of acetal that is the forward reaction it requires anhydrous acid because if the acid is not anhydrous if some water is there then the forward reaction will not be favorable. As soon as the acetal will be formed it will be hydrolyzed by the presence of water back to the carbonyl compound. That is why anhydrous condition is necessary. But if it is aqueous acid that is if we want to get back the original compound starting from acetal then obviously we have to use aqueous acid because it is hydrolysis reaction the backward reaction and acetal formation is not favored when ketones are treated with simple alcohols so suppose we have ketone rcor and we are using any simple alcohol suppose we are using methanol 2 methanol so here two individual molecule we are using right so here we will be getting OME OA. So we have started from RCOR plus 2 methanol. So total number of molecules that is starting material 3. But after the reaction, basically we are getting one water molecule also. So after the reaction, we are getting two molecules. So starting from 3, we are getting 2. So here the entropy will be negative. Okay, that is the reason here for ketone this type of reaction it is not very favored process though in case of aldehyde similar uh, logic is applicable but in case of aldehyde we already know that the carbonyl carbon its electropositive character is high so already there is uh, some advantage and sterically it is less hindered that is aldehyde is sterically less hindered than ketone so these two because of these two points electronic factor and steric factor aldehyde is already reactive compared to ketone so that is why this logic we are applying only for ketone but if instead of using two molecules of alcohol if both the OH group are coming from the same molecule that is 1 2 diol it may be 1 3 diol also in that case entropy it will not be negative how here if you look at this reaction see starting material 1 and 2 two species and after reaction this is also 2 obviously here we can say that entropy is not very favorable because entropy is 0 2 minus 2 it is 0 but compared to this situation that is compared to negative value obviously 0 is better so that is why here you can uh, look at this equilibrium sign it is more towards the right hand side less towards the left hand side Okay, so this is our 1,2 diol. It may be 1,3 diol also like this. So in general, we can write this as it may be 1,2 or 1,3. Uh, because if it is 1,4 uh, or 1,5, the two OH group, they will be far from each other. In that case, reaction is not very favorable. So that is why I am mentioning here 1,2 uh, diol or 1,3 diol okay so that's all about this uh, video in the next video also we will discuss some more important facts of uh, this acetal formation by, by using some examples and also what is the synthetic importance of acetal formation how we can apply it in uh, synthesis for molecules okay so if you find the video helpful please like share and subscribe I will meet you in the next video and thank you for your time.